But let's take a look at this in the field here. We're re getting ready, like I said, for a vapor barrier. So right now we have our insulation down. This is our form board for the edge of the slab, eight inches thick here. And we have our, our, our bracing for these form boards. So we wanna make sure we don't have any kind of blowouts because we need a perfect alignment of our sheathing with the edge of the slab so that when we install the insulation on the outside, we don't have variation in our, our insulation layer. So this is our form board. That's our two inches of insulation there. It runs perfectly flat all around the footprint of the building. The only thing they had to trim around were these pipes. And right there, the red one that you see right about here, that is our radon pipe. That's gonna take our radon or our soil gases up through the through the roof. The other one's coming today to lay the vapor barrier. We're also gonna spray all of the seams with the, um, the sealant, but down below here, running down to here, all the way to that edge, and then all the way down to that part of the building, and then off to the left and to the right, is base, is a, instead of a pipe, they've used a J-drain. The J-drain you might see in a foundation dra drainage system that sits at the bottom right on top of the footing. It's flat, and it sits right underneath this stone wall, runs left and right, and that it has more more open area and it allows the the radon to move a little quicker into the j drain that runs to this pipe absolutely no thickened areas no turn downs no tricky spots no insulation origami they did a really good job so any questions just drop it in the comments below uh dm me if you want and uh we'll see you around thanks so much again chris with lg squared here at the atlanta craftsman design build project.